All right, everyone, welcome to SHOT Show 2020. It's early and I'm tired already, which is normal, but here we are. So we got a few new knives on this table. All of the other new knives are on the other table. I think Andy's got some shots and stuff he'll probably roll in for you. Um, but these are, this is a good snapshot of the different types of stuff that we have this year. So I think what I, what I want to start with is the cigar cutter. This is just kind of a reminder to everybody that we are doing it. It is, it is going to come out. Um, and this will most likely be the, uh, well, what I would call the, the, the final version. Um, so what do we got going on here? We have a CPM S35 VN blade. We got steel liners and a steel spacer, G10 on the top. And I think this color scheme is what we're gonna stick with. Uh, we're, we're switching it from what we originally had. So you got the, the liners are Cerakoted black, green G10 handles, uh, high quality stainless steel blade. It is, it is a chisel ground, so it's flat on the one side, so you get that clean cut on your cigars. Um, just a really cool little uh, friction folder type piece. It's gonna come in this, this black leather sheath. Um, a retail price, we don't quite have that figured out yet, but we are getting very close. It's basically, this thing is just about ready to go. Production should start very, very soon. So, those of you that have been asking about that cigar cutter, it's coming. Um, all right, next up, I w let's switch over to the tactical side for a bit here. All right, we got this one, it's called the Night Spike. This Leo actually designed to throw. So for all you guys out there like, hey, you should make a throwing knife, you should make a throwing knife, you finally got one. Um, so we're, we're looking at using 1095, we may switch that to uh, 5160 or, or something maybe with a little bit of spring, but for now this is actually working pretty good. Um, we're gonna mess around a little bit and see what we can do. We, we've, we've got a distal taper on this and we might try to make that a little more dramatic so that it tapers down to 1 16th instead of, uh, instead of 1 8 uh, But we started with quarter inch stock and uh, it, it tapers down a little bit there. But we feel like it's maybe just a little bit heavy on the handle still, so we're gonna adjust just a little bit and uh, see if we can get this thing balanced just right. Um, the plan would be to sell this with a single or a double-edged, uh, so you don't have to buy a double-edged version. We're also looking at doing like an actual cutting edge on, on this thing, so it's maybe a little different from your standard throwing knife, where typically they're, they're kind of dull or not, not, not a real fine edge. Um, so that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. We still got some testing to do. Um, so it's still in prototype phase, uh, but I'm, I'm really excited about this one. It's just, I think it just, the lines are good. I just like everything about this knife. It's really cool. So there's that one. Next up, we've got the Vicuña, which is a, a Spanish word. Basically in Peru, the, uh, the alpacas, um, they, my understanding, I tried to do a little research, but my understanding is that they, they called them vicuñas before they were domesticated. And once they domesticated them for the fur, uh, as more of like a commercial type thing, that's when they started using the, the you know, other names like the alpaca or the guanaco or, or uh, whatever they're using. So this one, what's interesting is this was actually designed by Leo's wife, uh, Anna Espinosa. Basically, she, uh, she had drawn, she's drawn a few knives here and there, and uh, nothing that Leo's been like, you know what, I really, really like that. And as soon as he saw that one, he was like, we're gonna make it. He brought it and showed it to me, and I was like, absolutely, we, we should definitely make this. Um, so, kind of a really cool, uh, uh, really cool hunting type pattern. You got this set up so that you can, you can do multiple grips. There's a, there's, it's wide enough here, that you can kind of get all the way up and grab it if you want to. Um, you know, you got, you got options. And we decided to go a little bit crazy and we uh, inlaid some shark leather into that. So shark skin um, embedded into tan canvas micarta. This one will be a stainless steel blade. It's gonna be 154 CM. Um, yeah, so that's that one. I'm also excited about this one. I, I think I like everything we got on the table, but this one, I don't know. I just, I really like this handle. I like that blade profile. I like the lines on this one. It just came out really nice. So, 
the Vicuña. Next up, we got this little guy. This was designed by a gentleman with, by the name of uh, David Holliday. David Holliday is a bit of a legend in the, uh, the, the primitive skills bushcrafting community. Um, probably spends more time outdoors than anybody you know. And uh, you know, he's been, he's been using knives for years and years and years. Came to us, we talked to him at a, at a little place called Rabbit Stick, which is a primitive skills gathering close to, uh, to where our shop is. Um, you know, really, uh, really down to earth guy. I mean, he's just, he's a great dude. And uh, we're excited to be making this. This is probably the least finished design, I think, of all. We've got to, we've definitely got to make some changes. The handle's a little bit too short, um, but I think the blade is pretty much good to go. I think once we get that handle dialed in, it's going to be, it's just going to be a great knife. David, and we, we may end up um, putting more of a radius on the top edge of this. David kind of goes against the grain on that thought with a lot of bushcrafters. A lot of guys want their 90 degree spine so they can throw sparks and shave things and all that. David doesn't really care. He wants it rounded. So, uh, so we're probably going to do a bit, bit of a rounder spine. And uh, I don't know, I just, I, I like it. It's got that kind of puko feel to it, but with this, this clip point, we may even make that clip a little bit more drastic. Um, that's, that's something that he also likes in, in his own knives. So kind of a, I mean, it's a simple little piece, but it's gonna be a really handy, really useful bushcraft knife. This one is uh, 1095, it's got tan G10 on it. Uh, not micarta, tan G10 with, with some black liners, um, which I think look really, just really good with that tan. And for now, we're calling it the Sonoran. So there's that guy. Now we'll get to the big one that everyone's probably been trying to see since we started. This is called the Storm Vector. It is basically Leo's take on a sax knife. Um, the sax were kind of that traditional knife that uh, the Vikings used to use that uh, they, they would use for what was, what was the EDC back in the day. And uh, they would also use it for fighting if they had to. So typically they were a minimum of about 12 inch blades. We're, I think, a little bit longer than 12 inches on the cutting edge on this one. Um, so we kind of kept in those parameters. You got that standard kind of broken, uh, broken tipped edge, that Warren Cliff type design. Um, the handle, I think, is probably the biggest departure from what you would normally see on a sax. Usually they're pretty simple handles. Um, Leo definitely likes to keep his, his style on anything he designs. So. He kind of kept that going with his uh, with his handle on this one too. Um, quarter inch 1095. We've got black canvas micarta, and that is on top of these blue G10 liners, which I just think look freaking sweet. I don't know, something about that just just really popped out real nice. Um, so we may actually end up using blue G10 uh, as a liner material a little bit more often because it just looks really good. So yeah, we've got a we've we've got a sax. All you guys that have been asking, here you go. So everybody from watching Inner Bark Outdoors, Andy's channel, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We definitely have a lot of new models this year. There's way more than what we showed you now. This is just a good a good snapshot of uh, of what we got coming. So keep keep watching.